Titans are making a comeback with their final season on HBO Max. A new set photos from season 4 shooting confirmed that a major DC Comics location will be featured in the show. So what's the location that's going to be featured in the upcoming season? Well, for that, you'll have to stay back and relax as we discuss the famous DC location and what the final season might have in store for us. Starting off, what's the famous location everyone's hyped for? Fans are already aware that episode 12, the season finale, is currently being filmed, and recent set photos show us that a well-known DC Comics location will make its first appearance on the DC show. Thanks to a fan on Twitter, these pictures from the set were posted online, and they show a big scene being filmed, set in the fictional city of Bloodhaven. The photos of the set clearly show that the story takes place at Bloodhaven University, but none of the actors can be seen. This will be the first time that Bloodhaven is used as a live-action DC movie or show, but Arrowverse shows like Arrow, The Flash, Batwoman have talked about Bloodhaven before, but they've never shown the city itself. As for the movies, Catwoman's comment that she might go to Nightwing City after the battle with Riddler was another big Easter egg in the Batman. Them DC executives do seem to like having the heroes grow through this vision of the DC universe, but it's still not clear what role Bloodhaven will play in Titan Season 4 until it starts on HBO Max. Next up, why are the Titans headed to Bloodhaven? Let's be real here. As we've seen in the show, the team of crime fighters never stays in one place for long. The first season of Titans was mostly set in San Francisco, and the second and third seasons moved to Gotham City, which was a long way away. And the recent behind-the-scenes photo of Titan Season 4 shows that the familiar DC city of Bloodhaven has the brand new location. Now, we don't know if Brenton Thwaites, character Dick Grayson, and his brave followers will just visit Bloodhaven or move there for good, but the city's importance in DC lore makes it clear that it's more than just an Easter egg. In the DC comics, Dick Grayson goes to Bloodhaven when he drops his Robin persona and grows into Nightwing. He gets his own city to play in mainly just to get out of Batman's shadow. And that's like kids moving out as soon as they turn 18. Anyway, his city, Bloodhaven, is full of its own problems, crimes, and supervillains. And Gotham and New Jersey are both waterfront cities with poor people, and over time, other members of the Bat family join Dick, such as Tim Drake's Robin and Batgirl. But still, Bloodhaven's main purpose as a place where Bruce isn't allowed remains the same for Batman's most capable predecessor. In the season 3 finale of Titans, it was pretty clear that Grayson was moving his team back to San Francisco to what was left of Titan Tower. And at the end of Purple Rain, Dick, Tim Drake, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, Superboy, and Kipto all pile into an RV to get ready for the long trip from Gotham City to the Golden City. So it's like that. Titan Season 4 won't start with Nightwing and the rest of the team already living in Bloodhaven. Instead, the Titans might go there after hearing about a new supervillain who is up to no good. And then Dick slowly realizes that the city needs a protector, like Batman, and decides to stay, making Bloodhaven his own Gotham, just like in the comics. And finally, what does Bloodhaven mean for Titan's future? Behind the scenes props from the Season 4 set show an interesting banner that says Bloodhaven University Orientation, Welcome to Your Future. Yeah, Dick Grayson might be too old for frat parties, but Season 4 could have Tegan Croft's Raven, Jay LaCurgo's Tim Drake, and Ryan Potter's character Beast Boy start college to try and have a normal life in between the disasters they face. And if memory serves us right, the end of Season 3 showed us that Raven had learned to control her powers, so Dick might have thought it was safe to send her to school. What could go wrong anyway? Also, the fact that Titan Season 4 will take place in Bloodhaven is good news for people who want Lex Luthor to show up finally, as in Season 2, Superman's nemesis stayed in the background, and Season 3 showed us an old Bruce Wayne commenting about Lex Luthor causing trouble. Lex Luthor, DC's most bad villain, hasn't shown up in person yet, but the show's director, Nicholas Copas, recently posted a picture of Season 4 prep book on social media with Lex Luthor on the cover. One of Bloodhaven's most important plots has Alexander Luthor and the secret society of supervillains destroying the city with a chemical attack, and since Bloodhaven will be in Titan Season 4, it's more likely that a member of the Luther family will show up. Another problem that Season 3 finale caused can be fixed by the team heading to Bloodhaven. As most of the gang went back to San Francisco after finally defeating Scarecrow, Barbara Gordon, Wonder Girl, and Red Hood stayed in Gotham City. And while it wasn't clear at first how Titan Season 4 would bring these characters back together since they were all in different places, but since Bloodhaven is close to Gotham, Dick's group from San Francisco could easily meet up with those who stayed behind at the end of Titan Season 3. Now, in other related news. First up, what the Church of Blood means for Titan Season 4. We don't really know what version of Brother Blood and Brother Mayhem the actors will play in Season 4, mainly because they're different bad guys. You already know that this show's no stranger to changing
changing characters to fit the story. Source material? Who's that? Kidding. But you can easily expect a lot of story beats to be repeated. When Brother Blood 9 showed up, we knew that the Church of Blood or the Cult of Blood was based on worshipping Trigon. This means that when they come to the Titans, Trigon will be back after his disappointing disappearance at the beginning of Season 2. Or at the very least, Raven's gonna be one of their main targets. Sebastian Blood 9 made his own group of Titans by bringing Hawk, Dove, Phantasm, Cole, and Aqua Girl back from the dead. This storyline could be scary. Even though not all of these characters have been in Titans, retelling this story could bring Hank Hawk back for a cameo. Aqua Boy could even take Aqua Girl's place. Up next, Titan Season 4 has DC Show's first episode co-written by cast member. We heard that Ryan Potter could do more than just play Beast Boy. He told us on his Instagram story that he's going to co-write one of the episodes in the upcoming season. This is major news because it'll be the first time a cast member has co-written a DC episode. He confirmed that he's already worked on the episode with Jeff Johns, the writer and producer. Sadly, he didn't let us know any more details, or even which episode it's going to be. It looks like we'll have to just guess and see. The episode's going to be directed by Eric Dean Seaton, who's directed episodes of The Flash, Superman and Lois, and even Legends of Tomorrow. Beast Boy was clearly excited about the story and said that it was something from the heart, and he hopes that we enjoy it as much as he did when he was creating the story. We have a feeling that we definitely will. And finally, has DC finally found their Kevin Feige? According to The Hollywood Reporter, producer Dan Liz is in talks to become the next head of DC, and it seems like DC and Zaslav have finally found their own versions of Kevin Feige. The deal is still being negotiated, but if it goes through, Lynn would report directly to Zaslav, and this means that fewer people will be talking about every decision. The producer would also replace Walter Hamada, who will be moved out of the role. And as fans can recall, Hamada had a rough time at DC since he had to clean up the mess that Justice League 2017 had made. Still, Hamada had hits like Joker and the Batman, so he wasn't a total failure, but when rumors started to spread that Hamada had almost left after Batgirl was cancelled, everything pointed to the current head of DC leaving. As for Lynn, the director has a lot of experience working in television and has been an executive producer for shows like Lethal Weapon and The CW's Walker. His company, Rideback, is also finishing up the live-action Netflix series Avatar, The Last Airbender, making this a very important point because Lynn would be in charge of both film and TV projects for DC. Well, it certainly looks like Dan Lynn might propel the DCEU to the next level, but will he be able to do it? That's only time will tell. And that's all for this video. What do you think about the Titans moving to Bluehaven? Are you excited to see what's going to happen next in Season 4? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.